morning. A little breezy today. Oh, I, I'll try not to bore you anymore with car stuff, but just one more here. I sold the uh, 1948 Willys Jeep I have. Uh, I put a Ford Pinto motor in it because the, the one that was in it was absolutely rusted up and not working anymore. But I went through this thing completely, top to bottom, new, or, uh, new bearings all the way around, new rings, new valves, everything's new in this motor. It runs really well, but uh, it had electronic ignition. And Daryl Walton yesterday in the comments asked me about the uh, points distributor. I told him I'd take a look and see what year that one was and it is a let's see it is a 1974 Ford Pinto distributor it has points in it the electronic ignition you know they say it's better but I can't figure out how they work points I can understand that show you a couple of quick pictures here and then we'll go to something else here but this is what this thing looked like this is what it looked like yeah come on this is what it looked like when I bought it it was uh, mostly rust glare is so bad I don't know if you can see it went here out of the wind anyway that wind is terrible too much glare to see these pictures outside anyway but anyway this is what it looked like when I bought it it was mostly rust the uh, uh, floorboards were missing and engine was froze up badly so I scrambled two uh, two Jeeps together that's the tub this is this is one of the ones I got for the donor actually you can see two frames over here. That's uh, that's one now. Uh, I mean, seats were bad, and they weren't original or anything. And everything was pretty well shot. That's what the engine looked like. It, if you had money enough, you could probably hone it and surface it and make it run again. But I don't think it's really worth it. Those little Go Devil engines like that, they didn't have a lot of power to them. And this is uh, kind of the floorboards. They had big holes in them and stuff. So I cut it out completely and put uh, the bottom of a wheelbarrow in there. Uh, it's a 1948 uh, CJ2A. It should have a, a square window frame. This one is from a newer one, probably 50s sometime. It's a, a CJ3A. But they both interchange, and these are a little bit bigger windows anyway, a little taller. Well, that's... New brakes, new uh, drums. One thing, the reason I haven't been driving this is because... I found out that uh, with this or with drum brakes, this little cylinder here has to have about 12 pounds of pressure all the time, and it has to have a residual check valve inside the master cylinder to keep those inflated so they don't leak. Well, mine came with a without the check valve, so it leaked and it ruined my brakes. So I bought a. Uh, uh, I thought I had engine pictures. I probably do somewhere. Anyway, there we are up in the woods with Lily and Hagger. Hagger died here a few years ago. But uh, anyway, I bought a uh, disc brake conversion kit. It's a dark in here. That lets me put uh, disc brakes and rotors and all that stuff from a Suzuki Samurai on one of these. And the reason I haven't been driving it is because I haven't had a chance to switch those over yet. So my brakes in this are pretty garbage. They, uh, 
if I put fluid in there, I can drive it around for a day or so, and then all the fluid leaks out. And like I said, my brake pads are soaked with fluid and stuff, and it makes me mad. The, this is this cylinder is meant for a drum brake setup, and they didn't put that check valve in there. Brand new from the factory. Well, anyway, pretty irritating. <laughs> anyway, Daryl, I hope that... Uh, answers your question and hopefully you can find one of those that it, it took some doing the biggest problem with switching this motor over to a Ford Pinto from that old uh, go devil is uh, the parts They're trying to find the adapter parts I got a Novak adapter um, but then I had to have the right bell housing there's about two or three different ones and of course that's the hardest one to come by I got lucky I found a bell housing and then the throw out fork for the transmission it has to be the right one too and of course again it's the hardest one to come by so I had troubles with that but it sounds like you have yours already in the in the truck so you probably got all that squared away the uh, like I say the the 74 distributor has points in it and in my way of thinking at least that's the better way to go a lot of people like electronic ignition but at least with points you can tell if there's something wrong the replacement points are 15 bucks or something I got a spare and I don't have to worry with the electronic something goes bad you can't even tell what's burned out or anything and I just don't like them so anyhow Guess as long as I am doing boring car stuff, <laughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about with this Go Devil. This old pickup over here, first truck I ever bought with my own money. I had a, when my dad died, uh, I got his truck handed down, but this one's the first one I bought. And Anyhow, I'll show that real quick and then off to something else. So this one, like I said, it's a 48, 1948, with a probably... 50s window frame. I got my rats on here as the hood bumpers. When you fold your uh, your window down, they rest on these here. But I have these. I have these rigged up in their mouths. There's a copper tube goes down inside, and I had an old uh, Toyota pickup that I had that rigged up to my squirter bottles and that was fun I could squirt people at crosswalks and things like that and uh, I have that rigged up for it but I don't have a squirter bottle I gotta find one and put that in there then I'll have double barrel rats this one <laughs> I guess I got the wrong size just got their tarp blew off this one is a 1968 it has, it's got bricks on there, I won't open it, but it has a four-cylinder L-head engine. I think they, I don't remember what they called that. Hurricane, maybe. I think that might have been the six-cylinder, though. I don't know. I don't remember now. Anyhow, so this one, this is the first pickup I ever bought with my own money. Worked up in Alaska for a couple of years and bought this when I come home. And uh, I drove this for a lot of years and drove it all the way from Oregon up to Washington State and then up to Idaho. But uh, this one, see, when I bought it, it looked new. But the so badly bent. I got a crack in my windshield over there. And I got some roof. Uh, winter of 2016 and 17 the snow snow again they are calling it uh, the biggest building on the fairgrounds fell down and this was inside of it well I gotta work on this one of these days and fix it up that is not the original engine to this truck this is one I took out of an old flat fender Jeep but this is what this one should have come with in 1948 and it is very very underpowered this is what they call a go devil four cylinder 
very very simple engines I mean it doesn't take much to work on one of these compared to the newer stuff for sure but uh, it's pretty gutless I haven't started this for quite a while it, I'm sure it would run but I bet the battery is dead around I think about 1950 they went to a uh, six-cylinder straight six engine that was a lot better than that little four-cylinder over the years I've had I think that's the third engine I had in there I rebuilt the, the L head twice and uh, it had a cracked block this is the reason why I had to do it twice I should have just scrapped it the first time but then I put a little V8 in it and that was actually too much engine I was breaking things and it was overheating real bad uh, this one didn't have all the bricks on it I opened the hood it was the engine that's in this one so anyway I finally found the original type engine for that truck and put it in there and uh, it runs okay it's fun to drive but cost of license and insurance and all that stuff I haven't driven it in a long time it's one of those things that I'll never get rid of but uh, I probably should because <laughs> I can't drive it I really need to keep everything working the way it should so anyway enough Jeep and car stuff for today find something else to do it's windy out here I need to I need to flesh a beaver it's kind of cold I don't know I really want to do that or not I need to though before it goes bad this wind today is really unpleasant I have my trapping shed but it's, <laughs> it's so full of junk that I can't even use it uh, I guess go in here and see what I can do Well, actually, if I move this card table, it wouldn't be too hard to swamp this out enough to do this beaver. Got some more mice. Yeah, what a mess. <laughs> 